This is a video reference to the hip hinge, which is an exercise that you already went through with your clinician. So what we'll do to set this up is we need our dowel, stick, broom, hockey stick, whatever it may be, and we're gonna place it on the back, right? First step is we wanna find our alignment. So we wanna bring the head to the stick and tailbone to the stick. And if we have an arch here, we wanna close down that arch as much as possible. Having a little bit of arch there is fine. We just don't want that heavy arch, nor do we want this kind of plumber butt type presentation. So head, mid back, tailbone, attach the stick close down that space to minimize that low back arch there. Okay, and notice I'm also in this slightly bent forward position. So don't start straight up, start like in a linebacker ready position, get your alignment. Once you have that, take one arm to the top, one arm to the bottom here, hold this. And we're just gonna go through our hinge pattern first. So what we're gonna think about is butt back, butt forward. So imagine if there's a rubber band or an exercise band behind your hips and pulled that way. I wanna let that band pull my hips back as far as possible, keeping alignment with the stick until I can't go any further. So for me, I feel tight hamstrings here. I can't go further. If I do go further, I lose it right here, which is no good. So now that I'm at this position, I wanna slowly return to start. And this is the hardest part for most people to maintain alignment. So I'll go back, 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 back. I feel the tight hamstrings. I'm gonna bring the hips forward, maintaining alignment just like this. Note that many times people will start to arch here. So be careful and keep that neutral spine position. Okay, so once you have the hip hinge going and you feel comfortable and you're not losing your alignment doing weird, shaky, awkward things like this, and it feels pretty smooth. Now we can differentiate deadlift from squat. So all we have to do with a, with a deadlift is a full hinge and a little bit of knees, and then you return. With the squat, it's a little hinge, more knees, so more up and down, okay? So hip hinge or deadlift is more hinge, and then knees when we're lifting from the ground a squat is gonna be mini hinge and more up and down with the knees, right? And when you get more comfortable with it, then it can be one fluid motion. So for squat and then for deadlift. Recommendation for sets and reps is to start with the pure hinge first, 10 repetitions. Once you've got that down, do the deadlift pattern for 10 reps and the squat pattern for 10 reps. Repeat this pattern or this combination once or twice a day.